In this video, we will discuss the problem kth node from ends. So basically, you will be given a linked list which will be having size n and you will be given an integer k. What you have to do is you have to swap the kth node from the beginning with the kth node from the end of the linked list, right? So note that you do not need to change the content of the nodes. You need do not need to swap like this, but basically you have to swap the links, right? So let's say if you have been given a linked list like 1, 2, 3 and 4, right? And let's say the k value is given to be as 1, right? So what you'll be doing, you'll be having the kth node from the starting as this and kth node from the end as this. Now, you know that how to get the kth node from the starting, but how to get the kth node from the end? So can I say that the kth node from the end is nothing but n minus k plus 1 at the node from the starting? Yes, because uh, what is this? 4 minus uh, 1 plus uh, 1. So that is nothing but 4, right? So this is how I'm going to get to this node, right? Kth, uh, how I will make it? Uh, kth node from the starting is done right kth node from the starting you'll be able to get but kth node from the end is nothing but n minus k plus 1 th node from the starting right so this is how i can get it now let's try and see if k values was 1 so this linked list was change would change to something like this 4 then 2 then 3 and then 1 right so this is what will happen to the linked list but let's suppose that if the linked list was a little bit different if suppose that uh, the linked list was like k is equal to let's say 2 and the linked list look like 1 2 then let's say 3 then let's say 4 let's say 5 right so in that case, which nodes I need to change, I need to change this node and this node. So notice that uh, the links will get changed, but not only these nodes, but the previous, previous of the starting node, previous of the beginning node and the previous of the end node will also get considered. Why? Because let's try and see how the links are going to get changed. So one will now point to nothing but uh, four. Right. One is going to point to four. Then what will happen? Three is going to point to two and then five. Right. So you can see that this 4 and this 2 right so they are getting changed but but the links uh, they are also pointing to different elements but apart from this this one is pointing the previous of the starting node previous previous of the kth node from the starting it is pointing to the uh, end node right uh, it is pointing to the kth node from the end and this node previous of the ending node it is pointing to the kth node from the starting right so this is how also the link is changing and you need to notice that if k value is greater than n in that case what you will do if k value is greater than n in that case you will directly return the head because if the number if uh, this is the case in that case you cannot do this part right now let's try and quickly uh, understand like how we will write the code for this particular problem so what we will be doing is you would need to notice that if k value is greater than n right so if that is the case in that case you will simply return the head right this is one edge case that if the uh, k value if it's gonna be greater than n if the k value is greater than n right so in that case you will simply return the head of the linked list right after this what you need to do is you need to see that if uh, your k value is equal equal to nothing but uh, n minus k plus 1 now what is this if the if the node is the same right if the node is the same if the k node from the end is same as the k node from the starting so let's say if i consider a linked list like this 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 right and if i mark my k value as let's say uh, if I extend this linked list to 5 and if I mark my k value is 3 so if the kth node from the this is nothing but the third node from the starting and this will also be the third node from the end because n minus k plus 1 will be what 5 minus 3 plus 1 is going to be nothing but uh, 3 so in that case also I need to return the linked list itself because I will not require to change anything right so that's why also in this case also I'll return the head of the linked list right now once i'm done with this part so i'll have a what i'll have some several notes i'll have node star let's say begin right which will point to the head of the linked list now i also need to have uh, something called begin previous right because i need to change their uh, links as well initially it should point to nothing but null right after this i need to have node uh, star end as well right so i need to have uh, end node as well right so i'll have them i'll have the end node also uh, end node will be pointing to the head because we will be getting the n minus k plus 1 th node from the starting in that way we will try to get it right after this i'll have the let's say end previous right previous node from the end it it is nothing but initialized to null right this, this is the things that i need to do in the starting now i'll get the kth node from the starting so int i starts from 1 i is lesser than k i plus plus and what i'll do is i'll say that okay begin previous is equal to nothing but the beginning node right and what i'll say is that begin is equal to nothing but begins next right so this is what i'll do 
now once this part is done so what i'll do is i need to find the uh, kth node from the end as well so i'll do int i starts from one i is lesser than n minus k plus one right and i'll do i plus plus so i'm iterating it again in this part so n previous n previous is equal to nothing but the end node right i'll keep on updating the previous of the end and n is equal to what n is equal to n's next node right now once i'm done with this part so what i'll do is if this part is done right so once this part is done so i need to check i need to check several things what i need to check is that let's say if the begin previous right if the previous node of the uh, kth node from the starting if it if it's uh, not equal to null right if it's not equal to null so if it's not equal to null so what i'll do is i'll say that okay begins next it should point begins uh, begins uh, uh, previous should point to what it should point to the kth node from the end right so begins uh, previous should point to what its next should point to what its next should point to the kth node from the end right this is what should happen apart from this what should happen is you should see that if the end previous right if the end previous is not equal to null right if it's not equal to null in that case what should happen is that this end previous should point to uh, next should point to what should point to the begin right this is one thing that should happen now once this part is done so now we need to check several cases as well now what what are the cases that we need to check uh, we need to do first of all we need to swap the nodes right the uh, kth node from the end and kth node from the start so i'll mark a temp temp is equal to nothing but the uh, begins next node right temp is equal to nothing but the begins next node now what will be the begins next node become the starting node from the end so its next would become what uh, the end ends next right and now i need to update my ends next node to nothing but temp right so this is what i need to do now what i'll do is i need to say that if k is equal equal to one right if k is equal to one so if i required the k, uh, kth node if the k is equal to one in that case you will observe that you don't need to return the head but you need to return the end of the linked list right and what you will do is you need to see that if k was equal equal to n actually right so if the nth node uh, k, if it was the last node from the uh, starting and it was the first node from the end in that case you will directly return the begin right you will directly return the begin node uh, right or you can say that you can make your head as end kind of and you can do what you can make your head as begin here now what you will do is you will simply return the head of the linked list in the end right now let's try and quickly compile this code and see whether it's working or not okay so it's saying that begin previous is not declared right so but i have declared it okay so which node is it talking about yes this particular thing okay now it should get compiled i think this should be nothing but v let's try and compile this quickly it seems to work let's try and submit it hopefully it should get accepted as well so you can see that this problem got accepted so this was the approach for solving this particular problem in case if you have any doubt so you can mention that in the comments thank you for watching